Hello and welcome to this episode of Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Office of Tourism and Economic Development here in Worcester County on Maryland's coast. I am in gorgeous Pocomoke City, Maryland today, down at the south end of our county. And today on the show, we're going to talk to Rena Thaler up at the Art League. Of course, Jackie Miller with Secrets and the Distillery. Our favorite Jim Rapp, who is going to be out and about on all of our waterways and bird watching, which is so much fun to watch. And then I'm going to be introducing you to Michelle Burke, our new business development and retention specialist with the county. And we're going to talk to Kara Lacey about their spring celebration here in Pocomoke City. So we hope you enjoy this episode of Beach and Beyond. Welcome to Beach and Beyond. I'm Melanie Purcell with the Office of Tourism here in Worcester County on Maryland's coast. Today we are in beautiful Pocomoke City with Kara Lacey, uh, our events and downtown coordinator here with Pocomoke, to talk about an upcoming event that they have. I know we're all ready for spring. Yeah. Uh, so they have their annual spring event, um, as well as a lot of other things that are going on downtown here in Pocomoke. So Kara, tell us a little bit about the event. All right, so this is our annual downtown Pocomoke Spring Festival. We're really excited to have it this year because obviously it was canceled last year due to COVID-19. So uh, the event will look a little different, but it is uh, hosted by the Downtown Pocomoke Association. It's scheduled for Saturday, March 27th from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. We do have a rain date of Saturday, April 3rd. Um, and the reason for that is because we have to get this event done before Easter because we have a very special guest coming to this event and that's the Easter Bunny. Oh. So bring your kids out. We will have free pictures with the Easter Bunny. We have an Easter egg loop where civic organizations, churches, nonprofits will pass out treats for the kids. And then there's also things like a petting farm, a special performance by Cascading Carlos, and there's things for the adults too. We have sidewalk vendors and we also have an antique car show which will be happening in our downtown Pocomoke Farmers and Flea Market lot. Oh excellent. So yeah. if are you still accepting vendors if people are interested in um, putting out their wares? We are. We have um, a vendor application available on downtownpocomoke.com. It's just a $15 fee and that goes right to the Downtown Pocomoke Association which puts these events on for the public. Excellent and it's free to attend I'm guessing. It's free to so. attend. Um, everything is free, really, um, unless you want to shop the vendors. Sure. Well, and yeah. it's a good opportunity to come down and experience Pocomoke City. For those of you that haven't been down, it's certainly a little hidden gem here in Worcester County. I know I've really enjoyed my time down here. There's some uh, great opportunities to possibly visit the one-room schoolhouse. I know by yes. appointment you can see the Delmarva Discovery Museum, and it's just a really great experience on the scenic, beautiful Pocomoke River. So if you haven't had a chance to come down, please be sure to check it out and yes. I know once you get down here you'll want to come back especially when it's warm and you can get on the river and walk around yes. town and everything so um, yeah. so if people want more information about the event itself would it be the same site as the vendors sure they can um, go to downtownpocomoke.com or they can call me at City Hall in Pocomoke at 410-957-1333. Excellent. And Kara does such a great job here in Pocomoke City. And I know as things become um, more available in terms of events and, um, you know, you're going to have your, what do you have, like first Fridays or second Fridays and things we like that? We have fourth Fridays fourth here Fridays. in Pocomoke. Okay. Mm -hmm. I know every town has to have their own Friday. We do. <laughs> <laughs> I love that everybody works together with that. Yeah. So, you know, we certainly are excited for you to kick off this event for spring. And we know once things get really more normal, we're going to see more and more events down here. I know that they do concerts out here in Cypress Park all summer. Yes. And it's just a lot of great things and, and a great experience to come down here in Pocomoke. So thank you so much, Kara. Thank you. And we hope to see you here at the spring celebration. The coronavirus. It's been a tough few months on all of us, but we must not let our guards down. We must follow CDC guidelines to protect our family, our friends, and our co-workers. As a company that deals directly with infectious control, we understand the seriousness of the situation. If your business needs commercial infectious treatment, call the trained and certified experts at Royal Plus, 866-404-7587. 866-404-7587. Together, we will get through this. 
Welcome to the Art League of Ocean City. My name is Rena Thaler and I'm the Executive Director here at the Ocean City Center for the Arts and I'm joined by Casey Neeb, our Gallery Assistant. And this segment is brought to you by Ocean Downs Casino where the fun shines. Um, so Casey, tell us about what people could expect to see in the galleries this month at the Art Center. Yeah, so this is our main gallery. Uh, here this show is called Points of Juxtaposition. Upstairs in our Galleria, we have our juried corporate partner show. Um, in Studio E, we are joined by Carol Rydell, um, and we also have an artisan showcase with Mary Ainsworth's work. Mm -hmm. That's what I love about this place, is when you come here, first of all, every month it's different, and I love the way the galleries look this month. You just, seeing it on TV or seeing pictures of the gallery, you don't get that sense of when you're in here, how calming of a space it is. Mm -hmm. And immersive. And immersive, yeah, right. So this show that the gallery was standing in points of juxtaposition, when you look at it, it's so diverse. And mm -hmm. I know it's um, six um, artists, they're all African-American, they're all from Eastern Shore, and they kind of speak with like an older, they call it older African consciousness, but their work is so varied. Mm -hmm. um, what's your favorite of it? I really enjoy the pottery. It's all um, one artist, but it's all so different. Um, and it's very inviting. All of the different artworks kind of join together and have this wise lens that they provide. Uh -huh. And that's Ernie Satchel, a um, former professor at UMES. That's his, his pottery work that we're looking at. I've already got a couple picked out myself. And of course, everything <laughs> generally is um, available for purchase here at the Art Center. So uh, if you're looking for something great for your home um, or condo or anything, this is a, a really good place to come. My favorite of this exhibit has to be the series of the masks. And this is an artist named Alex Gamble. And I happened to be here while he was installing his artwork. And because points of juxtaposition speaks from that older African conscious. Alex told me that he um, specifically did these pieces with uh, in mind of being like African masks, right? Mm. But because of COVID, how everybody's wearing masks, that kind of played in, the whole mask thing played into it too. And they all look like they're sculptures made out of metal or uh, leather or wood, but they're actually upcycled, recycled material. So. Mm -hmm. Very cool how he assembled it. And that's the thing about art is, you know, you really got to come in and see it for yourself. And I love these little zines that Alex made. They're like mini magazines um, that go with his work. So um, I hope everybody gets a chance to come to the galleries this month. The exhibits are on display all month long. And they could, people can find them on our um, website as well. Yes, artleagueofoceancity.org. Mm -hmm. Particularly our anime show. Um, and I know you could speak about that. Uh. Yeah, so we have a, a youth anime show going on right now, Manga and Anime, um, and it really gives the students, um, middle school, high school, and college students a chance to uh, put their art on display. It's an online exhibition, um, and then our, the young talent is given the opportunity to be recognized mm -hmm. and awarded with cash prizes. Right, I heard there were $500 worth of prizes to go to the kids yes, um, that's for correct. that, which is great. And I heard that we had um, 14 different schools that participated from four different counties. So yes. it's really cool. Check out the Anime and Manga um, show along with all the galleries um, shows here on our website or in person. We're open every day, seven days a week. So I hope to see everybody here at the galleries. All right, so Casey, I know that one of your responsibilities here at the Art League is coordinating the gift shop. And while this might look like an easy task, <laughs> I know that there's a lot of artists. How many artists show their work here at the Ocean City Center for the Arts? We have about 100 artists currently displaying work in uh, our gallery. That is amazing. That is amazing. And um, I was just admiring, because. I happen to be a jewelry fanatic, but I was just admiring this piece by Mary Ainsworth, and she's our featured artist in this month in the um, Artisan Showcase. Yes, for our members, we have a opportunity to display artwork in our Artisan Showcase. Um, you can display for a month, um, and our artisan this time around is Mary Ainsworth. Uh, she is a jeweler. She recently moved this piece. locally uh, from Denver, Colorado and she has a lot of sea-inspired adornments that mm -hmm. you can purchase. 
Well, I think this one has my name written on it, <laughs> but there's lots of other great things here for people. What else is new this spring in the gift shop that yes. people can find? With the shifting of the gallery, lots of our gift shop artists bring in new work. So we have a lot of spring inspired work here from uh, one of our artists, Pat Lang. Um, mm -hmm. I love her small paintings. She often does squares, um, rectangles, cute little um, paintings that's, that you that's can That's really the neat thing is that, you know, it's hard to find authentic, original, handmade gifts that are affordable. And people can find that here. And if they become a member of the Art League, you get a discount. <laughs> Save 10% on anything you buy in the gift shop or in the gallery. Yes. So um, thanks for helping us bring all this original handcrafted work to people and hope that everybody gets a chance to come in and shop the galleries. They can also access the galleries now online, right? The gift shop. Yes, we do have a new feature, our online gift shop. Um, a lot of our artists will be featured there. Um, and if you see something you like, you can come in and take a look at it um, or purchase it right there online. Mm -hmm. So. Hope everybody gets a chance to stop in or stop on our website. Beautiful things here at the gift shop at the Art League of Ocean City. So it's been a great month here at the uh, Art League of Ocean City. Come visit us at the Ocean City Center for the Arts on 94th Street. And Casey, just wanted to um, let everybody know about our membership drive going on this spring. Yes, if you bring a family friend um, and how, have them join with us, um, you'll both be rewarded uh, a print of this Lovers at Astigue uh, print. Right, so come on down, join the Art League, be part of the action here, take a class. We have lots and lots of classes going on um, for kids and adults. I was looking at the catalog myself and uh, picked out a few in stained glass and uh, jewelry making and we even have a cooking class this month. So. Be sure to check out our full schedule, artleagueofoceancity.org. Become a member, you'll get a print. Bring a friend, they'll get a print too. And we'll spread art around. Thank you, Ocean Downs Casino, for making art happen. New name, new games. So many new ways to win now at Ocean Downs Casino. Play live table games like blackjack, roulette, and craps. Hit on 100 additional slots, plus thrill to the excitement of lots more new theme slot games. The new Ocean Downs Casino, where the fun shines. Please play responsibly. For help, visit mdgamblinghelp.org or call 1-800-GAMBLER. This is Rick Me in Mayor of Ocean City. Our town is surrounded by natural beauty, and we'd like to keep it that way but we need everyone to pitch in. As a beach community, protecting our surrounding marine life, coastal bays, and preventing any pollution is very important to all of us. When you visit the beach, please take everything you brought with you when you leave, or place your waste inside a trash receptacle. It's also important to keep our streets, sidewalks, parking lots, and storm drains free of litter, because our land and ocean are all connected. Thank you for disposing of your trash properly to keep our town clean. And remember, we have a smoke-free beach and boardwalk. Visit OceanCity.Green to learn more about how you can help keep Ocean City litter-free. This summer, why not bring your staff, your office, your team, or your organization for an unforgettable day of fun at Jolly Roger Amusement Park. 35 acres of some of the best rides, attractions, and amusements right here in Ocean City, Maryland. Splash Mountain Water Park, Miniature Golf, Amusement Rides, and the East Coast's largest go-kart track, Speed World. So for a great day of fun, call Dean Langrell at Jolly Roger Group Sales and let him put together a package to fit your needs and your budget. Hello and welcome to Secrets Jamaica USA located at 49th Street in Ocean City, Maryland. We are open Thursday through Sunday for dining and bar seating and have some great specials going on for you guys. A happy hour from 4 to 7 and half price dinners every Thursday, Friday and Sunday night as well as football specials all day on Sundays. Uh, we also have live entertainment every Thursday, Friday and Saturday night and you can check out all the specials and entertainment schedule at secrets.com. Secret Distillery has several limited releases available, such as the Jamaica Blue Mountain Coffee Spice Drum and Wildfire Whiskey. Distillery tours are also available every weekend, so you can see how we make our spirits and learn about Prohibition era with over a million dollars in antiques from the 1900s. Tours are $15 and include three tastings of your choice. Make reservations ahead at secretsdistilling.com.
The Atlantic Beverage Center, located at 50th Street and Secrets Parking Lot, has all your needs covered for liquor, beer, and wine. Stop in from 2 to 5 and take 10% off everything in the store, including Secrets Ready to Drink cocktails, orange and grapefruit crushes, Bloody Mary, Big Bamboo, and electric lemonades. We hope to see you soon at Secrets, Secrets Distillery, and the ABC Store, located at 49th Street in Ocean City. Find us and get lost. Hey, how are you doing today? Welcome to Secrets Distillery at Secrets in Ocean City, Maryland. Uh, it's a little different type of tour that we're offering. Ten dollars, you get three shots of your favorite liquor that you've picked out here, one of our selections. And you get to walk into a little bit of nostalgia, a little bit of the history of Prohibition and the years during Prohibition. Almost all the antiques, over a million dollars worth, have actually been collected by me personally and uh, they consist of, well, why don't we come on in and I can show you just a little bit of what we have to offer. Now this is our lobby, of course. This is where you'd be waiting for your tour. In here, just a few things like an antique 1914 time recorder, which is the time clock as they call it today. From the doors to the windows to the different items of nostalgia from pre-December the 5th, 1933. I've accumulated them, so you not only get to see the distillery and the distilling process that we go through in order to make some of the best liquor in the world, but also get to look at all of the antiques that we're collecting on a daily basis from that era to give you something special, a special touch of prohibition and all that happened during that time period. So come on over. We'll get in the elevator, take you and start you on your tour. But not too much. You're going to have to come in and actually do it yourself. Here we go. Atlantic Beverage Center, 50th Street, Bayside, and Ocean City offers the area's best selection of liquor, beer, and wine. Rare spirits, local craft beers, assorted wines, we've got you covered. Stop in for happy hour from 2 to 5 and receive 10% off everything in the store. Right now, get secrets ready to drink cocktails. Electric lemonade, orange crush, grapefruit crush, Bloody Mary, and Big Bamboo. All made with secret spirits, handcrafted, small batch, distilled liquors. Atlantic Beverage Center. Find what you thirst for at great prices. Welcome, I'm Melanie Purcell with the Office of Tourism and Economic Development here in Worcester County on the beautiful Maryland's coast. I have a special guest with me today, um, Michelle Burke, who is our new business retention and development specialist. She is going to be working with all of the businesses in the towns in the county and really digging in to help expansion, help us grow and prosper from an economic development standpoint. So Michelle, welcome. Love Thank to hear you. how things are going so far and welcome you to Worcester County. This is the best place in the world to work and to live and I look forward to working with the businesses and helping anyone that has any questions, just reach out. And you can get Michelle at mburke at marylandscoast.org. 
Also, we have some exciting projects we're working on with Michelle and our team in terms of some economic development collateral materials that we can't wait to share with everybody and really helping um, Worcester County prosper. So thank you all so much and always visit us at choosemarylandscoast.org. Pocomoke City is Maryland's friendliest town on the eastern shore, home to multiple museums, a charming downtown. Scenic Riverfront Park and Nature Trail, Pocomoke is worth discovering. Come meet our town mascots, River Otters Mac and Tuck at the Delmarva Discovery Museum and enjoy other interactive exhibits while you're there. Catch a movie or live production at the historic Marva Theater. Dine at our waterfront restaurant with beautiful views of the scenic Pocomoke River. For more information and a calendar of events, visit downtownpocomoke.com and plan your visit today. Hi, I'm Melanie Purcell, Director of Tourism and Economic Development with Worcester County. I'd like to talk a little bit about some of the programs that we have coming out um, for 2021 to really assist our restaurants and our hotels here in Ocean City and Worcester County. We'll have a restaurant relief grant that's available as well as a hotel relief grant. We encourage you to visit our website at choosemarylandscoast.org to get your application in today. And if you have any questions at all, you can email me personally at mpursel, P-U-R-S-E-L, at marylandscoast.org. As winter transitions to spring, wildlife watchers and photographers turn their lenses toward the sky to welcome back our summer nesting birds. With me today here at Sunset Park in downtown Ocean City, Maryland is my friend Kim Aplanap. Kim is a wildlife conservation photographer and she spends much of her time photographing birds here <laughs> along Maryland's coast. Good morning, Kim. Good morning, Jim. So Kim, what do you enjoy so much about photographing birds and wildlife? Well, it's just a really fascinating subject. I mean, it's endless. It's vast. Um, we get every type of bird species in Worcester County here. It's fascinating, and it's an endless subject. You never know what's going to surprise you. A bird will just land, and it is fascinating. All true. So, Kim, what makes Worcester County so good for photographing birds and wildlife? Well, I think it's just so diverse. I mean, we have everything from Assateague to the beaches to the bays, inland bays, the forests, the rivers. You can find any type of bird in Worcester County. So, Kim, do you have any favorite birds you really like to photograph? Oh, there's so many. It's hard to, you know, pin it down. But we have plovers, piping plovers. We have hawks. We have ducks. We have wading birds, ibises herons and then we have this on the inland base here we have these beautiful terns common terns black skimmers black skimmers are a great bird they have this adaptation with their eyes that cuts out the sunlight and they scoop down along the water and fish with their bills it's just they're a beautiful bird to watch wildlife watching and photography are fast-growing sectors of the tourism industry Around 86 million Americans participate and spend $76 billion on travel and equipment every year, a 20% increase since 2011. While wildlife watching is at an all-time high, wildlife conservationists have witnessed a sharp decline in some of the species that Kim and her friends love to photograph. With me now is my buddy Dave Wilson to tell us about these special birds and about a special project designed to keep them nesting along Maryland's coast for future generations. Hey, Dave. Good to see you, Jim. So, Dave, what is happening to birds like black skimmers and common terns? Well, you know, over the past 20 to 30 years, we've seen their population decline by about 90 to 95 percent for, for common terns, royal terns, and black skimmers. Uh, and the reason for that is that we don't have places for them to nest anymore. These are birds that need to nest on islands. They can't nest where there's predators. Ocean City took a lot of their islands back in the 70s and early 80s. Uh, they've lost the islands elsewhere because of erosion and climate change. And so these birds are in serious trouble. Dave, why are Maryland's coastal bays so important for these species? 
Well, you know, the, the species that I mentioned, common terns and black skimmers in particular, they don't nest anywhere else in Maryland. So the whole Chesapeake Bay, that is not adequate nesting for them in terms of islands and what they need. So in the coastal bays, they have a fresh supply of forage fish, of food, islands that they need to nest on. So just in that tiny sliver of Maryland is where these birds nest and the only place they are capable of nesting. So Dave, tell us a little about this exciting new project designed to help skimmers and terns. Well, you know, as I mentioned, common terns and black skimmers are in serious trouble. Um, and, you know, a lot of that problem is a result of losing island habitat, which, which is a long-term project we need to work with the Corps and others with. Uh, but in the short term, we have some great, a really great project to help these birds survive in Maryland. Um, it's Audubon Mid-Atlantic, uh, the Coastal Base Program, DNR, are all working together to create a, really is a 32 by 32 foot raft for these birds to nest on in Chincoteague Bay. And so we have enlisted folks from Massey Coastal Trust and others and volunteers from all over Worcester County for the most part who are creating this raft. Uh, we're going to put it out hopefully this spring if all goes well with permitting uh, and then hope these birds nest on it down in Chincoteague Bay in Maryland just south of South Point. Wow, incredible. So building a floating island to help the birds nest. Yeah, this is the only place common terns and black skimmers, are, they're pretty much out of habitat to nest on. And so they will nest on an island that floats um, if it doesn't get inundated with water. And if it has, you know, it'll be replete with decoys and chick shelters and you name it. It's going to be a great project. Wow, very cool. So Dave, what can locals and vacationers do to help these birds? Well, you know, really, it's pretty simple. Uh, stay off of sandy islands, right? If there's islands that are in, at low tide, they're underwater at high tide, that's fine. But most of the islands are posted. Uh, if it's posted, please stay off of it. Please keep your dogs off of it. Uh, that is key because they cannot take disturbance in their habitat. Also, if you see someone on these islands, you need to call the Natural Resources Police. It wouldn't be summer along Maryland's coast without our beautiful, elegant turns and skimmers. We hope you'll visit soon with your camera and binoculars when you're traveling Maryland's beach and beyond. for joining us today. We hope to see you every Sunday at 10 a.m. on WMDT for Beach and Beyond.